Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. A couple of weeks ago we did a video looking at the armor penetrating ability of and the damage inflicted by two guns, a representative of 30mm and 20mm, the, Vol uh, the Avenger 30mm, the Vulcan 20mm and these different types of ammo. Let's go over the acronyms. Combat Mix, High Explosive Incendiary, Target Practice, Armor pier Piercing, Target Practice, High Explosive Incendiary, High Explosive Incendiary with Tracer, Semi -ar Armor Piercing, High Explosive Incendiary, Armor Piercing, Target Practice, Tracer with 50 rounds with this gun, 115 rounds with this gun. Why that amount of ammo? Because that's the least amount that DCS will let us use. That's 10% the maximum magazine size is the least amount we can use we're not necessarily comparing 30 mil against 20 mil per se so it doesn't matter if the amount of rounds differ as long as they're the same amount of rounds within that same caliber the vehicles we used were an m1a2 main battle tank and take this with a big pinch of salt but the armor that we found is top armor there of unknown type and ife an m2 bradley type with top armor we think that there and an m113 uh, APC with top armor. We think there. We think in DCS that is going to be the toughest. That's going to be the medium. That's going to be the lightest out of this group. Everywhere where you see a percentage is a test that's already been done. I didn't need to actually test that and that, for instance, because I already knew that we did over 100% damage with a combat mix of 115 rounds. So I know already that that is going to be over 100% and over 100%. So I can just repopulate those fields. But for instance, with high explosive incendiary from the Avenger that did zero damage to the main battle tank, I now need to go and test the IFE and the APC because I've absolutely no idea what damage that could do. And the same with the Vulcan here. A lot of this can already be populated based on what we did, but the red fields are the ones that need to go and be populated now. Plus one we'd like to redo. This one made no sense. Armor piercing only did 30% damage against an IFE where target practice did over 100% damage. A, that could be right. Or B, there could have been an inaccuracy in the test. Like, for instance, the bullets, some of the bullets missed the vehicle. Setting this test up was really hard, and getting all of the bullets to hit the vehicle behind the scenes was actually a difficult thing to do. It's possible we screwed up that test, so we're going to go and redo that. 30 mil Avenger, high explosive incendiary, M2 Bradley. Oh, did you see that, RC? That was an unexpected result. That's only 16 mil of armor. Yeah, that's weird. That is weird, right? I just really killed it. Let's try it with the 113. I am surprised. I'm really surprised about that as well. 30 mil Avenger, high explosive incendiary, M113 APC. Fire. Oh, did I wreck him? Yeah, that wrecked him, RC. Yeah, that's I wrecked good. him. Look at that. So it is, the APC is modelled less in terms of armour and DCS, which is what I thought it would be. Hey, this is the one we're redoing, and we're definitely going to be hitting him. In fact, we'll make sure by going kind of like that there and recording it. Uh, this is the Vulcan 20mm armour piercing that we got the spurious result for, and fire! Yeah, it's right, it just doesn't do very much damage. Weird, weird result. I mean, it did 30%, this time it did you know maybe 20 percent but and those bullets i saw them all hit so armor piercing on an ife is just crap for reasons um i'm not going to pretend to know but there you go next test 20 mil vulcan armor piercing m113 fire it's dead next test semi armor piercing high explosive incendiary m113 Ooh, it's dead Good. Vulcan, 20 mil, high explosive incendiary non-tracer. Uh, I actually missed it with some of those bullets. I'm pretty sure that's not going to do any damage. We'll double check now with the high explosive incendiary with tracer. I'll make sure all the bullets are going to hit, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get zero damage. Very similar test, uh, 20 mil, Vulcan, high explosive incendiary tracer. Should hit all the bullets this time. Ah! Well, that was High Explosive Incendiary Tracer, and that worked. Right, looks like I better go back and uh, retress, retest the High Explosive Incendiary Non-Tracer again. Redoing the one that I missed, it was a uh, 20mm High Explosive Incendiary Non-Tracer. Oh. How about that? It seems to be you have to also get it not just on the top, but away from the edge. 
for reasons I don't really know. Yeah. So it, it, accurate basis test even harder. But you've really I mean, that was almost it. dead. Yeah, that was almost dead. I'm happy to say that's going to be 100% dead, to be honest. Yeah. It was a little bit close to the edge. Okay, value viewers, the final test is I just want to show you or prove to you that the different sides of the vehicles have different amounts of armor. So this is a combat mix aircraft with like over a thousand rounds of ammunition. Now you know that even a hundred rounds of ammunition completely obliterates a tank from the top aspect. So let's see what happens from the side aspect with ten times the amount of rounds. If I can remember how to do this. You can see that with all those rounds, very little damage. And bearing in mind, only 10% of rounds completely killed the tank from uh, from a top aspect. So that shows how much little difference it takes from hitting a side aspect or front aspect. Now, the side is different to the front, it's different to the back. And I would have to go and repeat all of this all over again for the side, the front, and the back. And if you wanted that, and I'm not going to do that because that's just stupid amounts of work at that point. But that was just to prove that concept. Let's go and look at the top down results now. We'll just go through the red ones, which are the ones that we've done and redone today. So, Avenger, high explosive incendiary on the top of an IFV. We were really surprised to see it was no nothing. So, you can take. An Avenger, a 30mm cannon, probably a Sukhoi cannon, uh, anything that has a 30mm cannon, I expect, and take high explosive, high explosive incendiary, and from whatever aspect it looks like, you simply won't be able to kill an M2, uh, which will poss possibly be similar to the other IFVs in the game. I don't really know, it's too complex to look into fully. But that's an in interesting indicator of why, uh, and the guy who asked this was saying, okay, why can't I blow stuff up with my high explosive? That shows it there. It's simply not appropriate for that armor. If you go to an M113, uh, um, uh, an APC in this case, then even the high explosive incendiary will destroy it. A hundred more than hundred percent damage. So just bear that in mind. Uh, we've now got the Vulcan cannon. So high explosive incendiary. Nothing on him. Nothing on him. And today we checked on the uh, what we call the light armor, the APC, and it did over ninety percent damage. Uh, I'd possibly rate that as over 100%. I don't know. It depends how finicky can you get. One interesting th thing we found about it that affects all of these is that how central your bullets hit to the center of the vehicle kind of mass makes a difference in terms of the damage. Uh, I don't know how to quantify that and I don't want to look into it any further because you're really starting to split hairs at that point. But just remember the accuracy of the bullet in DCS will make difference uh, to the damage done for whatever reason. And I don't want to go much further than that, but that's an interesting thing. High Explosive Incendiary Tracer did 100% damage, slightly more damage. Realistically, realistically, it's probably the same amount of damage. It's just that there are slight inaccuracies for the reason I was just saying. But no damage to him, 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 or him. So if you're, for instance, in a Hornet or a, a, a Tomcat, or anything like that, you will never, ever, ever be able to kill an M2 IFV because on its weakest aspect, however accurate you get that, you cannot do any damage, okay? Again, these are the questions that we're answering here. But you will be able to damage an APC. So, things to bear in mind. Semi-armor-piercing high explosive is the same. We can't actually make it do anything different to high explosive incendiary. 0%, uh, 0%, 100%, or more than 100%. Armor-piercing, we thought this was a dodgy result, but we've repeated it, and I definitely got the bullets, maybe not very central, but they were definitely all hitting the vehicle. And I got about 20% this time, instead of 30%. So... We think that's probably a pretty accurate figure. Why is it less than target practice? I, I'm not going to pretend to know. A lot of you say that target practice should actually do more damage to a not particularly highly armoured vehicle. So armour piercing for the tank is 60%. We've got that pretty thoroughly checked. M2, 20 30% for reasons we don't understand. And 100%, more than 100% for the light armour. And finally, target practice, the big surprise is for both here, is a did the most damage out of anything, even more than the armor piercing. 60% damage on the main battle tank, over 100% damage on the IFE, uh, and over 100% on the light armor. So that is it done. Uh, please now relate that data to the vehicle that you're driving. If you're driving an air-to-air -air guns type vehicle, like a, a, a flanker, you can be pretty sure it's going to be high explosive, high explosive incendiary. If you're flying something like a frogfoot and it doesn't specify which type of gun ammo, then... I honestly don't have a clue. Uh, you're going to have to figure that out, I guess. Any final thoughts on that RC? Nope. Pretty I think straightforward. I think that was good work. I hope you enjoyed it and see you later.